So the first thing I do before starting any painting is prop up my canvas on some plastic cups and make sure that it is as level as possible. For this design, I first sketch out a basic seahorse shape and I use this as a bit of a guide for where my paint is going to go. Next, I go in with some masking fluid and this basically creates a barrier and protects the paint from seeping into the areas where you don't want it to. So I just trace along my sketch like so and it will help me when I am swiping to keep the paint going in the direction that I want it to. All of my paints for this painting were one part paint to two parts Australian Floetrol. For this particular kind of paint pour, I find it so much easier to use squeezy bottles of paint rather than uh, just scooping it out of a plastic cup with a pop stick. I also strain all of my paint using a little mini tea strainer before I go ahead and pop it into their bottles. Okay, so first I add the white paint to the back edge of the canvas. This is where your colours are going to bleed into and what's going to create the pretty cells. So I just use a spatula to shift the paint around and cover the back edge as much as I can and then pull the paint up towards the masking fluid. Then I go in with my darkest colour. I just trace around the edges of my masking fluid and start to create my shape. I then go in one by one with the rest of my colours in no particular order, just tracing along that same line. I then drag my white further and further in as close to the edge as possible so I can get ready to start my swiping. For my swipers, I'm just using little pieces of plastic. You can also use uh, paper plates if you want. Just chop them up into little pieces and you're good to go. Anything that is flexible will work. So I'm just dragging out the paint from the masking fluid outwards and just basically letting it do its thing. The good thing about Australian Floetrol is that it creates cells quite easily on its own without having to even use silicone and I find that the cells in this particular piece just come out so easily even before putting a heat gun to it. As you can see they're already starting to form. But as you can see, the heat gun took things to the next level and this is where I wanted it to be. But this is not where I wanted it to be. So I was pulling up the masking fluid a little bit too confidently and because it is elasticy, I let it go a little bit and it splattered all over my canvas. So that was great fun. Um, luckily, you can clean mistakes like these up. You just need to use your paper towel really lightly dabbing into your paint. And as long as your paint is nice and thin, it should all resettle. And now for the hardest part of the whole damn process, in my opinion, getting the paint on the front of your canvas to line up with your picture without destroying it. Have fun. <laughs> it's so bloody hard. I'm not going to lie. This was the third or fourth seahorse that I made and this was the first one that I actually liked. Um, I kept having problems with the paint running into the picture or the picture running into the background and although a little bit of bleeding is okay and you can touch things up at the end if it's destroyed it's destroyed and when you know you know So once I was happy with how close the background was, I went ahead and added a little tail. I probably could have taken things a bit slower here, but I was kind of impatient by this point and just slapped it on. And lastly, I dipped my swiper into some of the darkest color and started to add a few little wisps here and there just to create some of um, the little spikes that you find on seahorses up on his head and a few on his belly. This was the end result when it was still wet, so things can still move a lot and you, you've got to wait and find out how your background's going to settle. 
And this was the end result. Once he had dried, I touched him up with some brushes and I drew on a little eye and yeah, I absolutely love him. I hope you do too. Uh, if you watched this video, thank you so much. It's my very first one. I promise to try and get better on the next one. Bye.